Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm gonna show you what is and how to use the tool Extreme Users. This video is also available in Spanish. Okay, well this is a kind of user that has a different behavior than the average one. It got the following characteristic. They are those people who have unusual behaviors respect to consumption or use of a product or service and any move away in many aspects from a common user. However, observing their behavior can be very helpful in improved services or product delivery by a company. In the extreme users needs uh, for design or improvement are uh, magnified of a product or service. By engineering for extremers, we are creating solutions for the entire range of users. This tool is using the define and ideation phases of a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology or any other agile methodology. By adding extreme users to the investigations, we have access to relevation inf that is inf information that is very, very important and applicant to improve future developments. Okay, so extreme user is a resource that is very helpful when I'm um, working with different kind of users. So the first thing that uh, you need to know is that you need to have a focus group. If you don't know how to make a focus group, uh, please go in our channel and check the video tutorial because this is very, very important. Okay, so the first thing that you do is that you have your focus group, your focal group, and you start identifying the different kind of users and you develop the user profiles. When you do that, you will understand the demographic, the behavior, and the motivation that the group has. When you do that, you will realize that the majority of the users are in the center. It means that if you are investigating 10 users, at least eight can be here, but you sometimes you will realize that at least 10% or in other cases, 20%, they have different behaviors. That is what it's called extreme users because they are not part of the group with their behavior, which is different. They start differentiating themselves from the others. You should pay attention to that because it could be very important and interesting that you will focus and analyze how they are. The actions that you do is start analyzing why they are behaving different. Of course, this could be for the empathy stage or for the testing stage, if you already have a product or service and see how they are working on. So the idea when you start analyzing, not the majority of the group, just the extreme user, it means that you start understanding why they are behaving like that and if there's a possibility that some other um, users could behave the same way. So the idea is that you increase the engagement, that you analyze if it's necessary to reframe the process or if you just have to discard all the possible situations that you are looking on. So the possible situations is that the user start getting closer. It means that this behavior that was extreme is not that extreme anymore and they are becoming part of the group. The second possibility is that the majority of the group start behaving um, more like the extreme user, users, which is a concern for our group because we need to understand why. And of course, there's the possibility that the extreme users are actually the majority. So we need to understand the behavior. So the idea here is that you look and feel and understand why they are acting the way they do. That is extremely important and that is the objective. This analysis allows to take actions depending on the behavior of the group and the users, how they are acting like that. It is important to have a mind-to-end user and if it's necessary to collect additional information, uh, what it seems uh, extreme can be the core. That is very important because the idea here is that we can identify the core. And 
maybe at the beginning we didn't have a clear idea how that worked, but after we start analyzing and watching everything more closely, uh, it's 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 better. Must be detailed the analysis and take relevant decisions. After this analysis, you need to have a clear idea of what to do. Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help in your education. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Our Udemy courses are already available in the description of this video. You can find uh, the link. Remember that Every Monday we have a new video in Spanish. Every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.